Louise. Your order will be up in just a minute. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm really here, right where I belong. I don't know how this happened, <laughs> and I don't care. I'm never gonna let you go again. I know how to make sure of this. Nothing is ever going to tear us apart. Your name. I can't remember your name. Tell me your name. Sheridan, it's me. It's... Sheridan, it's Louise. No. No. Sheridan! How you doing, buddy? Hey, Nick. You look about a million miles away. Let me guess, you were thinking about Sheridan again. Yeah. So, all that talk about finally getting over and moving on with your life was just talk, right? You're never gonna give up on her, are you? You should keep living in the past, dreaming of something that can never be. Nice man, another glass of orange yeah. juice. I'm so sorry, sir. She's she's new. Listen, of course, breakfast will be on the house, and I'll be glad to take care of the cost of having your pants cleaned. I certainly hope so. Are you trying to run me out of business? Yes, I'm so sorry. Liz, she's obviously never waitress before. Why don't you give her a chance to get up to speed? It's obvious to me, too, that she's never waitress, but I can't give away free food. Don't have to be so hard on her. I'll pick up the guy's tab, okay? And who's going to pick up your tab? All right, you're right. I'll talk to her and make sure she's more careful, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, Diana? Right. Liz, I I'm going to be the best waitress you've ever had. I promise. Okay, fine. Just try to be more careful. Oh, oh, I will. I promise. I swear. Thank you, Liz. Ted, what are you doing here? I just came back to pack up my stuff in my room and to see how you're doing. I'm fine. <laughs> Look, Whitney, from the way you were acting last night, I'm figuring that somebody must have slipped something in your drink. Sorry. For what? I just feel like I should have protected you somehow. Thank you. 
Are you okay? Well, just get away from me. What the heck is Ethan doing there? Maybe he's going to forgive Teresa and they'll live happily ever after. Huh? Well, you better hope that's not it. Oh, the question now is what is Teresa going to do? Is she going to go through with the plan laid out by zombie charity disguised as Julian to get Ethan back? If she does, Teresa will be giving in to evil. That's exactly what we want to happen, lad. Let's just hope this waspish Romeo doesn't screw things up for us. You said that you want to talk? Yeah. Look, I, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. And, Teresa, I... I had no idea that I hurt you so badly to the point where you want to take your own life. I'm all right now. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I, I just know how you were raised to believe that suicide was a sin, and... I hope for you to try to take your own life. You just must have been so desperate. Look, I, I'm, I'm truly sorry. Because I never meant to hurt you, and I, I really wish to God that uh, things could have ended differently than they did. It's okay. No, it's all right. I mean, you came back, Ethan. That's all that matters. <sighs> Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathe and breathe out. You keep me alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. This is no good at all, Timmy. Not good at all. Timmy thinks it's wonderful. Ethan and Teresa belong together. <coughs> Back to the way things are supposed to be. Move it, move it. That's it. No, this is not the way it's supposed to be at all. Don't fall for his kind words, Teresa. Be hard, cruel, ruthless. Tell him to take a hike. I knew you'd come back to me. I knew that God would never be so cruel as to take you away from me. Let's take the only man I have ever loved. The only man I will ever love. Teresa. Ethan, I have prayed for this moment. I have prayed so hard that you would forgive me and come back, and now you have. Well, Teresa... Ethan, we can get married and raise my baby as our baby. We'll be happy, Ethan. I will make you so happy, I promise. Teresa, stop. All right? I I'm glad you and your baby are all right, but I didn't come here to make up. What? I didn't come back to you. We're not getting married. Not after everything you've done. What's wrong? <sighs> oh, don't even look at me like that, okay? Like what? Like I'm some kind of cheap slut. I know what you think. What? Look <laughs> Whitney! Whitney, that's not what I think about you at all. Well, that's definitely how I was acting last night, right? Hey, look, don't get down on yourself, all right? Whitney, you... You are the most... Decent and upstanding girl I have ever met. Yeah, well, you'd never know it from the way I was behaving last night. Here, give me a sit down. Go ahead. Look, somebody must have slipped something in your drink. That happens all the time. That's why you never, ever 
take your eyes off your drink. Why would somebody do that? I don't know. But I promise you this. If I find a person who did it, they're going to be very sorry. Well, I'm still completely humiliated. Whitney, look, I'm sorry that somebody drugged you, okay? But at least something positive came out of this. Something positive? <laughs> Please, what are you talking about? I'm talking about you and me. Last night, the real Whitney Russell came out and showed me what she really wanted. Don't you even try to deny it. Look, Whitney, all I'm saying is that I saw a side of you that I never saw before last night. And I think it's a side that you've worked so hard to control that it took getting totally out of control for it to break loose. I mean, you were pushing the limit last night, no doubt, okay? But like I said before, I think the real Whitney Russell's been held down all of her life. And last night, she exploded, full force. I mean, you was real. <laughs> And you can deny it all you want. But you were having fun. That's the real Whitney Russell. Not a robot who plays tennis according to daddy's schedule. You're wrong, Hank. I'm not holding on to Sheridan or to what could have been. Then what are you doing? You sit around here in a daze half the time, staring into space, not living, not connecting with anyone or anything. Tell me, what the hell are you doing? I am trying to get over losing the love of my life, for God's sake. You know, it's just, it's taking a little longer than I expected. I'm not gonna wallow in grief or self-pity anymore. Teresa's suicide attempt last night was a wake-up call. You can't hold on to something that's not meant to be. Only something good came out of her tragedy. Yeah, well, thank God that she survived. Look, Hank, as much as it kills me to admit it, I know that Sheridan's gone. I just hope that wherever she is, somebody's looking out for her. Take a quick break. Why don't you do the same? Uh, just as long as you're back in time to set up for the lunch crowd. Uh, you sure? Yeah, go ahead. Put your feet up for a while. Okay, well, I will be the first one back to work. Okay. <laughs> okay, come with me. Where are we going? It's a surprise. Obviously, it was a bad idea for me to come here, but I, now that I know you're all right, I'm going to go. I'm not all right, Ethan. I'm never going to be all right, not as long as we're apart. What, Teresa? I, I wish you had let me drown last night. Look, don't say that, all right? You, you are young and beautiful, and you have your whole life ahead of no, you. I have nothing ahead of me, Ethan, nothing. Except for a lifetime of pain and loneliness and heartache. Teresa, Teresa, come back! I can't take this anymore. I can't. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, now I know I'm losing my mind. Oh, no, you're not. But you're going about this all wrong. You'll never get Ethan back like this. Didn't you hear a word I said to you while you were down in hell? Teresa, open up. Come on. Let me in. Well, I'm sorry, Chad. You couldn't be more wrong. I love tennis. 
Okay, and I love my parents. I know that, Whitney. All I'm saying is that last night I saw a girl who was living for the first time. Now, I have never seen you that happy on a tennis court. Well, then you obviously haven't been watching. <laughs> I love being on the tennis court more than anything in the world. Oh. Okay? And the only thing I love more than that is winning. Oh, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. all. Not even being the center of attention last night when you're holding that microphone and you were singing from your soul? Come on. I don't want to hear anymore. Just forget it. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, hey, I, I could be wrong. I don't think so. But I won't push it. Have it your way. Or daddy's way. Um, where are you going? I already told you. I'm going to pack up my stuff. I mean, your dad blames me for what happened to you. You don't want me living here anymore. Well, where are you gonna go? I don't know. But away from here. And I don't want to live here anymore either. So, uh, I'll see you around with me. Chad, wait, don't go! Timmy's going to check on the school, see what, what he can tell Timmy. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you to leave that scroll alone? It's full of danger and you've no idea what you're doing. So hands off or you'll get burned. Now come on, we're going to watch and see what Teresa is going to decide. Sorry, Princess. Timmy has to know what's going to happen. Look, come on, Teresa, let me in. Look, open the door. Grow up, Teresa. Stop acting like a lovesick teenager and do what I told you to do in hell. Trust me, your silly schoolgirl belief in fate won't get Ethan back. Only following my plan will work. How can I trust you to tell me the truth? Well, I'm your husband, for God's sake. Of course I'm telling you the truth. If you really want Ethan back, you'll do what I tell you to do. Oh my God. Teresa, give me the glass. Look, you can't do this. I won't let you hurt yourself. Oh, no, Ethan, it's not Look, what you think. Just give me the glass. Damn it. Oh, my. You can't do this. No, I wasn't trying to kill myself. No, well, then what's with all the broken glass? My, my hairbrush, it accidentally hit the mirror, and the mirror, it fell on the floor, and, and I just I just haven't had time to finish cleaning up the mess. Are you telling me the truth? Yes. Ethan, you hurt yourself. Let, let me get some... My hand's fine. Yeah, Hello? Hey, Gwen. Look, I can't talk right now. I, I came by Teresa's to see how she's doing. Listen, look, I'll, I'll explain it to her when, when I see you. Yes, uh, I'll meet you for lunch shortly. I told you so. Hmm. I can't let Gwen have him. I'll, I'll see you soon. Bye. So, where's your mother? She went out. When's she gonna be back? Uh, I don't know. All right, well, look, I'm gonna wait here until your mother or one of your brothers comes back because I just don't feel comfortable leaving you here alone. No, I don't want you to stay. How come you don't want me to leave all of a sudden? Because this is your home. No, it's not. I mean, I appreciate your mom's letting me stay here to recuperate after I got hurt, but it's not my home. I mean, your parents made that very clear to me. I'm sorry for the way my parents treated you. I'm gonna try to get them to understand that what happened wasn't your fault. Hey, it don't matter, all right? I mean, you know, it's too much, uh baggage here. Yeah. 
you know, your parents and uh, Simone and us. Listen, I'm sorry. I just hate to see you so unhappy, so alone. Hey, don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. One of these days, like, as much as it hurts me to let go, I know that it's time to move on. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Yep, I know it's time to move on. Question is, where and... With whom? You look like you could use a refill. Oh, yeah. This is wonderful. Thank you. My pleasure. I don't know why I'm so exhausted. Well, it's like you said, the tension. And besides, you've been working all morning. You have a right to be tired. Yeah, but I should have more stamina than this. I mean... I'm not sick, and the work isn't that grueling. Yeah, but you've had a lot on your plate emotionally. And that takes its toll on anyone, right? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Well, you know I'm right. I mean, think about it. That light from the Bermuda Triangle, appearing, disappearing, reappearing again, and then you feeling, though, as you were transported somewhere with your lover. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be completely drained. This is true, but I should be able to handle one morning of work I, mean, I must have had some sort of job before I lost my memory. I couldn't have just sat around and done nothing all day. You know what? I wouldn't worry about it too much. You've got a job. You're making a living. Yeah. I won't for long if I keep messing up like I did this morning. And I've got to keep this job so I can earn my keep around here. I mean, you and Liz have just been so wonderful. You give me a place to live, food. Hey, Liz and I, we're just doing something Thanks. that anyone else would do for you. I'm grateful anyway, and I want to contribute. You are. So just relax, okay? Remember, you're supposed to be taking a break here. Yeah, I could use a siesta. <laughs> but you know what? I got to set up for lunch, and I don't want to be late. If I fall asleep, promise me you'll wake me up in time. All right, I promise. Thanks. I'm sorry your order's taking so long, Louise. It's okay. I'm in no hurry. I'm glad. <laughs> Thanks. Gosh, Louise, maybe if you look around, you'll find someone to move on with. Huh? Come on, you got someone who's perfect right under your nose. She's ready and willing. Beth. If you're truly ready to move on, why not move on with Beth? Because it really hurt Beth when I couldn't marry her. I don't want that to happen again. Why should it? If you and Beth got together, the only thing that could come up and hurt her is Sheridan came back. We both know it's not gonna happen. Brian? Oh no, I overslept. Liz is gonna kill me!
What's wrong? Oh. Nothing. I'm just still a little bit disoriented from last night. Just kind of confused. You're not confused. As a matter of fact, you've never been more sure of anything in your life. You're just trying to deny it. What do you mean? <laughs> when last night I saw a girl who's been caught in a trap her entire life suddenly get set free. And when you sang that song, you lit up the room. I mean, and I could tell it's something that you really want to do. Whitney, you can really sing. I mean, you've got talent. And uh, you can't just throw that away. I don't know why I did that. I mean, my mother has never approved of me singing. I don't know why. Well, you sure as hell sang last night. And everybody loved you. Look, Whitney, I write songs and I plan to produce music someday. Now you and me can be an incredible team together. Nothing could stop us. What are you saying? I'm saying that you need to do something for you for once in your life. I'm telling you to, to just stop living your parents' dreams and start living your own. Wendy, I'm telling you to go and pack a bag. You don't want me to stay? No, I want you to go. Why, are you gonna try to do something stupid again? My mother reminded me that suicide is a mortal sin. And it only hurts the people who are left behind. And I have a baby to think about now. And I'm not gonna do anything to hurt either one of us. Are you sure? You're just telling me this to get rid of me. I'm telling the truth. I accidentally broke the mirror and I was just picking up the pieces. Just like I have to do with my life now, Ethan. You don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm fine. Okay, I believe you, but it's just... I'd feel better if someone were home with you. Stop acting like you really care. I do care. We can't go back to what we had, but I do care about whether you're all right or not. You know, I do want you to be okay. Ethan, I told you, I am fine. Okay, I don't need a babysitter, I just need to be alone. And if it really is over between us, I don't want you hanging around all the time. I want to move on without you. Find someone I can share my life with. Well, Teresa, I'm, I'm glad to hear you sounding so mature, but I have to say I'm a little surprised. Why, Ethan? Because you always thought I was immature? I didn't say that. I, I'm a little surprised because you're telling me to leave now, but just a few minutes ago, you, you had your arms around. a few minutes ago, I was acting like a fool. Ethan, I am over it now. You sure? I understand why you find it hard to believe, but yes, I am sure. Now just go. Give me a chance to heal. You really want me to go now? Yes. You know what they say. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> well, this is an amazing turnaround, I must say. Who would have believed that Teresa would be Miss Independent to Ethan? Of course, it's all zombie charities work, but how is she managing to get Teresa to do her bidding? A zombie said Timmy wouldn't likely fall if he could see into the future. Timmy needs to know what she meant. Help me. What was that? It sounded like a voice. What was I saying?
Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get down to the station house, bro. All right, see you later. We'll see you later. Louise. Hey, don't forget your lunch. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Guess I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm lucky to have a friend like you. <laughs> no problem. Well, thanks. Sure. See you. Bye. Sleep, I swear I'll never let it happen again, I promise. Never let what happen again? I'm late. I, I was supposed to sit up for the lunch crowd. Well, it certainly looks like someone did. Well, hello, ladies. Ryan, never seen you in an apron before. Yeah, well, it's me, don't you think? You're incredible. Give me that. Diana, customers. Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be right there, Liz. Thank you. It's the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. At least that I can remember. Well, I hope it's the first in a long list of nice things that I can do for you. I can't believe what you're asking me. I mean, you you just want me to drop everything and just run away with you just like that? That's what I'm asking. But I can't. I, um, I mean, I could never hurt my parents like that. It would, would kill them. Look, you're not a kid anymore, right? I mean, you gotta leave home sometime. Look, your parents are wonderful, all right? But they can't keep you trapped in a cocoon your whole life. No, they don't do that. They, they just want what's best for me, that's all. I know, I know. Look, if you want to stay here and keep playing tennis, then I won't stop you. But if you want to do something different, something that you're terrific at, like singing, then come away with me. Let's accomplish our dreams together. Oh. oh, Timmy, what's wrong? Timmy, what's wrong? Timmy heard a voice screaming. It, it was Timmy's voice. It was horrible. It was... Well, what were you doing playing with that screaming? Roll. I told you not to. Jimmy had to figure out what was going on around here. After what Zombie Charity said earlier. Well, Zombie Charity said a lot of things. What in particular concerns you? Everything's upside down. The whole world. Louise and Sheridan are apart. <coughs> Teresa and Ethan are separated. <laughs> And that zombie Charity is pushing Miguel away, making Miguel think the real Charity doesn't love him. <sighs> Makes Jimmy sad. Well, I told you it wasn't a good idea to become a real boy. Real boys get hurt. They feel pain in ways that dolls can't. Jimmy's feeling pain right now. Yes, I know. And I'm sorry. I wish I could protect you and keep you with me for hundreds of years, but I can't promise that now that you're a, a real, live, breathing human boy. What's Tabby mean by that? Tabby's not planning on leaving to me, is she? Oh, no, of 
course not. After all we've been through together for the last few hundred years, I wouldn't turn my back on you. Now, enough of this. We've got to see what zombie Charity's up to and who she's separating now. And let's just hope to the dark side it isn't us. I, I really want you to go. Here, let me have that. Hey, are you sure you're all right? Of course not, Ethan. But I will be, you know, in time. But if I have to see you every day standing in front of me, reminding me of everything I had, I'll, I'll just go crazy. So, um, please, just go. Go ahead. What has gotten in her? Self, that's for sure. Good job, Teresa. Very good work indeed. You're sure this is the way to get Ethan back? Oh, yes. You threw him a curveball to end all curveballs. He doesn't know what hit him. <laughs> but will it work? Eh, we'll see. If not, you always have me. Just go to hell where you belong. <laughs> 